Abdullah Bundu, Quinnipiac men's basketball. Abdullah Bundu with the dunk and we are tied. Just from my name itself. I get the typical, oh, he's African. Bundu. They can't really tell where I'm from. Abdullah Bundu from I do have a tendency to walk around with like a stern face. So I get the, oh, he's so mean and all that. But those that actually took the time to get to know me find that I'm actually a really good person. You know, I'm social. It all depends on how you approach me. Beautiful feed, great finish by Abdullah Bundu. Even if you don't understand who I am, I'm not going to disrespect you because I feel like you don't know who I am yet, and I don't know who you are yet. So, you know, if we take the time to get to know each other, then things turn out a lot better. I was born in West Africa, Sierra Leone, Freetown. Um, I lived with my grandparents. Uh, at the moment, I didn't know my mom, nor did I know my dad, because they had came to the United States. I basically just lived with my older brother, siblings, and aunts and uncles. I was born during a war, a uh, rebel war. So, you know, just constantly trying to find food, a shelter, safety, especially not knowing where my parents were. My grandmother did tell me when I was younger, by the age of either two or three, I was held at gunpoint. They requested that we give them everything we had. And then after we did all that, they end up burning our house down, and this is where we end up having to find refugee camps for a while. Lost a couple of family members. When I first met my parents, I was about eight years old, eight, nine years old. BWI Airport in Baltimore. It was a lot of emotions, to be honest with you. It was like happiness, sadness, seeing them for the first time, knowing like, oh, these are my actual parents, having gone through what I gone through in Sierra Leone. As you can see, I am playing basketball right now. That's one of the biggest opportunities it presented to me. Yes, sir, Jake. The second one was education. My parents, when I first came over, they sat me and my older brother down and told us that, look, you know, in this country that you're in right now, education is going to be a big key. My father, he already has a couple of degrees under his belt, but even he is still in school. Not too long ago, I, I was home for summer school and my mother, she was really happy. She actually started, you know, tearing or breaking down a little bit. And she told me, honestly, seeing and knowing what you've been through, I'm so happy that you are in the position you are in right now. I'm so happy that you didn't let all that trauma hold you back, keep you in the dark. I honestly, I didn't have much to say. I just hugged her, to be honest with you.